Let us look at this proof of multiplying complex number in polar forms. Okay, so if Z1 is R1 cis theta 1 and Z2 is R2 cis theta 2, then Z1 times Z2 is R1 times R2 cis theta 1 plus theta 2. So hopefully you know cis is an abbreviation. So when you write Z1 is equal to R1 cis theta 1 is an abbreviation for this in fact means this is R1 times this cis stands for cos theta 1 plus I sine theta 1. Okay, so this is the abbreviation for this is or this if you expand this so this is R cos theta 1 R1 cos theta 1 plus I R 1 sine theta 1. I hope you know that. Okay. So, and Z2, Z2 is R2 cis theta 2 uh, is an abbreviation for R2 bracket cos theta 2 plus I sine theta 2. Okay, so let us understand this graphically. If you're multiplying these two numbers, so what does this mean? So just to put this in a graphical sense, theta 1, say, R, sorry, Z1 is a complex number. So this is an arbitrary or is. So this is a complex number. This is Z1, which is at an angle of theta 1. This is an at angle of theta 1 with the positive arm of the x-axis. So this is your real arm. And this is your imaginary arm. And the modulus is R1. Or the radial distance is R1. So in other words, this is the argument and this is the modulus or absolute value. And Z2, so let me draw Z2, is anywhere. So let me draw Z2 somewhere here. So Z2 has an angle of theta 2. It makes an angle of theta 2 with the positive arm of the x-axis. So this is theta 2 and the radial distance is R2. So we want to multiply these two complex numbers. So the product is very easy. The answer uh, to remember this is very easy. When you're multiplying two complex numbers, you multiply their modulus multiply the modulus and add the arguments. So argument is the angle that the complex number makes with the positive arm of the x-axis. So let us prove this. So Z1 times Z2 is equal to R1. So I'm directly writing R1 times Z1 is R1 cis theta 1. So can I write this as cos theta 1 plus I sine theta 1 times, I'll put a dot here, R2 times cos theta 2 plus I sine theta 2. Okay, so let's expand this. So this is, I'll multiply R1 times R2, so you can factor out R1, R2. And now I'm going to expand this. So let me write like this. So this is cos theta 1. So foiling this out, so cos theta 1 times cos theta 2 plus multiplying this with this plus i i cos theta 1 i cos theta 1 sine theta 2. You have to be careful in multiplying because if you uh, do one mistake, it may, can be really costly. Now multiplying with this, plus I sine theta 1 cos theta, theta 1 cos theta 2 plus I squared, I times I is I squared times sine theta 1 times sine theta 2. 
okay sine theta 2 okay so so this is equal to r1 times r2 so I'm going to write this first so this is cos theta 1 times cos theta 2 I'm going to write this after that plus i squared times sine theta 1 times sine theta 2 okay and let me scroll up so I've got this so I'll write this down so plus i cos theta 1 sine theta 2 plus i times sine theta 1 cos theta 2. I'm just rearranging this with a reason. You may not understand the reason now. Okay, so it will get clearer. So this is equal to, so this is z1 times z2 is r1 times r2. Now you should know i squared, the next step you should understand that i squared by definition is negative 1. So in place of this i squared, this will become, this whole thing will become negative 1. This is negative 1. So, so this is cos theta 1 times cos theta 2. This i squared will make this negative sine theta 1 times sine theta 2 plus okay so I'll put this in a bracket plus I can factor out an i here so let me write down here i if you factor out i you have cos theta 1 times sine theta 2 plus sine theta 1 times cos theta 2 we are almost there now you need to get your formula sheets out and look at the compound angle formula for uh, cos alpha plus beta so this is equal to r1 times r2 now if you look in your formula sheet only look at this part okay and I wanted to look at the formula sheet for cos a plus b okay so cos a plus b in your formula sheet or if you remember you should know cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b so this is a compound angle formula for cos a plus b or cos so when you compare from this side to this side you can compare a with theta 1 and b with theta 2 so if you look from year to year, I can say the next step, I can say this is nothing but cos theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay, so let me use a different color now. So now if you look at this, if you look at this, and if you look in your formula sheet for sine A plus B, sine A plus B, will tell you this is sine uh, okay so I should have written okay so this is nothing but sine a cos b formula say sine a cos b plus cos a sine b cos a sine b so this is slightly tricky to see so you're comparing a with theta 1 and b with theta 2 so can you see Sin, this is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So I should have written this in the other way around. So it doesn't matter. I hope you can see this. So this is changes to plus I sine theta 1 plus theta 2. Plus theta 2. And therefore, I can say Z1 times z2 is equal to r1 times r2 and this is you can abbreviate this so this is nothing but cis this is cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i i sine theta 1 plus theta 2 is nothing but cis theta 1 plus theta 2 
Now, how can we use this? So let us let me take a simple example. So if say z1 is a complex number in polar form, is say 2 cis 20. And talking in degrees. So here this means this is a complex number having a radial distance of 2 and an angle of 20. So z2 is say 4 cis 40. Okay. So using this rule, I can say z1 times z2 is equal to, you have to multiply the modulus, which is 8 cis, and add the argument 60. Okay, just like that. So this is your answer. Now, if you want to check this answer, you can change this into a plus bi form or z x plus yi form and confirm this.